Thank you. Honorable Albert. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. The Minister of Finance is correct in stating in his budget speech that South Africa is at a crossroads and that we should take a serious look at what works and what does not work. Ironically, this division of revenue bill is stable at a time when this country itself is a deeply divided country on many levels. So now is the time to be bold, to show leadership and to do what is right for long-term growth and employment creation. Mr. Mensen zal saamstem by die insamling van belasting dier die aanse regering een immorele oefening geword het, omdat die spandering van die belasting in sonde geskiet. Meeste mense weet ook dat daar waar wapens verskaf word vir immorele dare van terreur, dan moet die voorsiening van wapens ook gestaak word. Insgelijks bestaan daar iets soos monetaire terreur, waar belastinggeld gebruik word vir immorele en twyfelachtige doeleindes. Indien die terreur het sekere vlak van staatskaping bereik, dan mag die belastingbetalers moeilijk hulle steen onttrek aan die stelsel. Monetary terror is an insidious and calls its kills its victims over a protracted period of time by visiting upon them hopelessness, poverty and hunger. The weapons of choice in this style of terror are well known to us in South Africa. For instance, by appropriating and dividing revenue to dysfunctional provincial and local governments, by allocating revenue to parastatals that are bankrupt and create little value of any, by allocating in general resources to those who do not create anything but thin air and line their own pockets, by allowing a family to weave its tentacles around the state, by not paying service providers within 30 days as mandated by law, thus pushing them into bankruptcy, by taxing the productive sectors more in favor of the ruling class that produce nothing. Om die probleem te herstel gaan moed verg. Die minister kan begin dier nutteloose departementen soos die departement van arbeid en sport heeltemal te ontbind. Voeg die departementen van basisse onderwijs en hoer onderwijs saam. Amtenare wat nie dienstverskaffers binnen 30 daar betaal nie, moet persoonlijk daar verboed dier hulle salaris te verbeer totdat betalings wel geskiet het. Hersien die nuiverheidsbeleid wat nie werk skep nie en kom weg van ras as een merker vir ekonomiese ontwikkeling. Daar is talle ander voorstelle waarvoor daar ongelukkig nie vandag tyd is nie. Lastly, the white minority has sufficient reason to ask why the, they must keep financing the ANC government that is very quick to prosecute a frail old lady for racism while they are merely staring into the void when a prominent member of this house has called for the eventual and ultimate extermination of whites. If you value those taxpayers, you will also take drastic Point action against this person. Yes, Honourable Member, just one second. Yes, Honourable Member. Take your seat, Honourable Member. Honourable Albert. Yes, Honourable uh, Member. Deputy Speaker, I want you to assist us if it's parliamentary to say, if it could be a language that we accept in this house, that the white minority is the one that is funding this country. I pay tax too. Because it, it can't be. That's very racist. If, uh, even if I buy... I pay tax through value added tax. It's not only white people. Honorable member, honorable member, please. So it can't be parliamentary that we take platform and say the white minority is the one that is funding the ANC government to prosecute people. No. No. That's racist. Honorable member, we'll, we'll come back to you. I, my. my my immediate and NC people are quiet, I mean, really. Honorable member, my immediate reaction is that this is a political statement that must be dealt with uh, politically. That's my immediate reaction to that. Go ahead, proceed, honorable member. We think that the Minister of Finance is wrong, knows what is wrong in this country Point and what is right for this country. Honorable member, take your seat, honorable member. The honorable member, secondly, is casting aspersions on a member of this house, arguing that there is a member here who has called on white people to be slaughtered. That's aspersions. He must tell us who that person is so that we can clarify him. Take your seat, honorable member. Otherwise, honorable you can't member. cast aspersions on members of parliament. No, honorable member, take your seat. Until the member mentions people's names, he's not talking uh, about us. Take your seat. Ah. Proceed, honorable member. Thank you, Chairperson. I would like to answer the, the member, but I don't have enough time. I just want to say that the, that the minister must convince his own members in his party what is the right thing to do. 
As for the honourable member's complaint, I never said there's only white people paying tax. I said they are a, they are a portion of those people or a part of the tax-paying community. So you're putting words Albert, in my mouth. Your time has expired, sir. And um, I just want to say to you, if the shoe fits, you can wear it.